What is up, Facebook? How is everybody doing? I'm back. I know you missed me here. Okay, so I got a little sick because I got sick. <laughs> I was nonstop last week. You guys saw the series I did, all the videos, um, along with my coaching and my group, and I hosted a huge event. So yeah, whatever was out there took me down. I was in denial about it, but I am back because I don't want to leave you hanging for the holidays. Um, what happens with a lot of people when they are on this new you know, plan, which I call it a lifestyle and it should remain a lifestyle, but your mindset about it hasn't quite caught up to you. So you get a little bit nervous on the holidays because it's, it's different when you can control your environment for the most part, but when you go to Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, you have food literally thrown at you, thrown at you. And all these old cravings or all these, these foods that you know what they taste like come back, they tempt you, and you might kind of go AWOL with it, right? So I really stay focused on the holidays. I lose weight on the holidays. My boot campers lose weight on the holidays. So I just want to give you a series of tips to go into the holidays confident and control what goes on and what you're doing. So if you're new to me, by the way, hi, my name is Bria Owen. I'm a Keto Primal Transformation Coach. I come on live every week as well as come on live in my group, Keto Soul Sisters. Um, so there's that you hear my chair <laughs> and and i pop on and my chair squeaks and i fall sometimes and it's totally okay that's i'm spaz so here's tip number one you guys make sure that you have a recipe that's going to satisfy you so if for example and plan it think about it right now um, people in my group that have been with me for a while or people that I've been coaching, they absolutely have been watching and planning because it is so important to plan. Even if you have to like pull something together because you, you just don't even feel like cooking because you're so overwhelmed, right? There's easy ways to do that. So I'll give you an example. If you love cauliflower, right? I mean, I'm so... <laughs> You're like, yeah, cauliflower. Actually, if you've been keto for a while, you, you do love cauliflower, keto primal, whatever. Cauliflower is the new kale, whatever. If you love mac and cheese, okay, mimic a cauliflower mac and cheese because if you're keto, you can actually have cheese. Now, I'm keto primal, which you can have cheese too. I'm really bougie about my cheese. And when I'm on a weight loss plan, I actually pull cheese. But on Christmas day, I'm doing what I need to do to satisfy the void of what is there that I can't have, right? So if you have somebody in the family that makes like that really good homemade mac and cheese, you know, you know the stuff, right? The stuff that's like all this flour and real cheeses, it's all mixed up and they bake it. You know what I'm talking about. It's like, it's like the Mac Daddy of, the Mac Daddy of Mac and Cheese. <laughs> I don't know, it just comes to me. Mac Daddy of Mac and Cheese. Anyways, get, it's, the, the pasta part of it is nothing, you guys. That's just like texture, right? Cauliflower is your best friend. Get yourself some cauliflower, bake it with some cheeses, and make sure they're really high quality cheese, not crappy processed cheese, because the flavors are going to taste amazing. Um, one easy, easy way to do this, I would get the, the, the cauliflower, and I would get like goat cheese or Gouda cheese. I would get the, the fancy cheeses, because I know that day I'm gonna go into that craving that mac and cheese. Hi, Scott. So, um, another thing I can, I've, I've put together that's super simple if you guys have access to a Trader Joe's. They have an Alfredo sauce that is really, it's real cheese in there. It's not processed. It's in the, the area where all the dips are, like the guacamole. They even have a butternut squash Alfredo sauce. So that is cheese. You throw that over cauliflower and you bake it and there you go. For the people that don't want to like get down and dirty with the cooking, that will satisfy your taste, but I promise. So that's just one recipe I'm telling you. What is your favorite recipe? Figure it out, mimic it, um, make it delicious with real food. The thing about going keto primal, this is real food. This is not 
um, fat-free, explosives, and no taste. It's not like that. You can have real food. So do that. Mimic that recipe. I could post the cauliflower mac recipe if you want. Um, another one is I did a series of videos last week of baking. It was a perfect time to really do some baking, show you the basics, how easy you can create sugar cookies and a, a, a toffee bar, like the toffee bar, by the way, hands down is my favorite. I did a peppermint crunch bar. They were all delicious and I did them because <laughs> I can't just have all that in my house, okay? I would eat them all um, because I hosted a party and everybody enjoyed them, I got the feedback. So every single one of the recipes that I posted last week, I got amazing feedback on. So go ahead and do that. Oh, Scott's from Scotland. I love it. Yeah, Trader Joe's is life. I really feel bad sometimes because some people don't have Trader Joe's and I'm like, go to Trader Joe's. Just do this. Go to Trader Joe's. They chop the veggies for you. <laughs> they get real lazy sometimes. Okay, so tip number two. And by the way, I think you can search those videos. Um, you can search the, the hashtag holiday keto tips, okay? And they'll pop up on my page. Two, intermittent fast. If you are keto, intermittent fasting is probably already your jam. You definitely want to do it on a day like Christmas or Christmas Eve or whatever your party is where you're going to go and be around all the food. So <clears throat> I intermittent fast. Because I usually work out still, I, um, I'll i have a shake, like just a plain whey protein shake. I love whey protein. I love weights. It's, it's a thing. It's, I still do it. Whatever. That's a whole other life. Um, but I will intermittent fast and have a shake and I will not eat until I get there. And usually my brother-in-law makes amazing like tri-tip. There's so many different foods to pull from. I make sure I have a nice salad that I actually enjoy with the homemade dressing or primal kitchen dressing. And then I will take a dessert and I will take a side like roasted veggies or Brussels, bacon Brussels. Come on, you guys. Like those are so good and so easy to make. So that is the plan. Intermittent fast until then. Don't wake up going... I'm gonna blow it today, so might might as well wake up and just start like stuffing my face. Like, no, don't. That's like a nervousness. That's a mindset. There's, you don't even need to do that. Number three, one of the biggest tools that I use and people around me use, the people that follow me use, are be leans. If you've been following me for a while, you're probably already making them. Um, <clears throat> um, Chris, how long do I intermittent fast? I intermittent fast usually till one a day. On a day like that, I'm gonna intermittent fast to about three. Yeah, hi Heidi, hi Shelby. Yeah, well, oh, that's a good point, Shelby. Um, sorry guys, let me let me let me touch base on this. Christmas morning, I make a big family breakfast for everyone, so I might have to eat that day, but I do intermittent fast every day. Yeah, and that's fine because that's a tradition for you. So a lot of people don't do that. Some people do do that. I know Christina probably usually does that, but Christina probably will not eat breakfast and just share it with her family, right? But um, the good thing about breakfast is eggs, right? If you're hosting a big breakfast, you're probably gonna have pancakes, you're probably gonna have eggs. There's a way to make keto pancakes if you really don't wanna miss out on that. Um, using coconut flour, almond flour, eggs, butter, easy. Uh, but eggs are always the best thing anyway, so you're good to go, Shelby. So number three, beelines help to curb your appetite. Uh, they have a lot of minerals that our body's deficient in. And I'm just gonna show you a visual because I get asked this all day long, every day. Ultima, you can't see it, awesome. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, I really, sorry. Okay, I tried, but Ultima is the brand. It's at Sprouts, it's at Whole Foods, it's at Amazon. That is the raspberry flavor, it's my favorite. Cherry pomegranate is my second favorite. Um, I add that with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Because this is a video that's gonna get a lot of questions asked on, I'm just gonna give you the most simple recipe. There it is, right? Um, fill yourself a jar, water, two scoops of the Ultima, one teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar. That's the basic recipe for this size of a glass jar, which is what, 30 ounces maybe? <laughs> I couldn't even stop myself from taking a drink. That's retarded. But that's how much, that's how good they are. These are milliliters. So this is 800 milliliters. <laughs> this is the 800 milliliters. Do what you want with that. I even, here's a little extra tip for you guys. 
I add charcoal, activated coconut charcoal. It is, I got this one from Sprouts, I believe, or it's called, it's from Lifetime. Uh, activated charcoal will actually pull out any toxins that got in your body, right? So if you, for example, I don't eat cheese, right? So if I eat cheese, cheese does tend to have toxins. That, like I'm gonna get all that bloat and out of my body. I add this to it. Um, I do that about twice a week. Take emergency. No. Oh wait, for what? For your, uh, cause you're sick? You don't need to take emergency. Okay, so that is just three tips. I don't wanna overwhelm you guys, right? Because then I start to get a lot of questions. So um, we will, if, remember the videos on here for the cookie recipes. I am going to make, what, what recipe are my girls gonna make? Cause they've been following for a while. I am going to actually make the toffee crunch bar cause it was freaking delicious. And it's like my favorite recipe ever. And I nailed it. I absolutely love it. Kaylee's mom used to always send us a tin at the house. Um, Kaylee's my stepdaughter. Like I used to eat it all, all the time. I don't think she realized when she was sending it over that I was the one eating it all and asking for more. But now I am able to mimic it keto and that was probably my absolute favorite thing. When you're stirring it, make sure that you don't burn the butter. How do you mean? I don't, I don't do milligrams, I was kidding. <laughs> like, um, make sure you have a scoop if you have collagen. Just have a scoop. You don't have to have it all day long. I do half cup to a gallon. Yeah, I drink beans all day long. But remember, this video is for people that are like newbies, so I want them to try it. When they try it, then they'll they'll start. You know how that goes. My regular, like my followers, my clients, they all know they be lean all day long. So um, you don't have to be lean all day long. It's just something you tend to do because you'll see that apple cider vinegar. So, there's so many different benefits. It helps to heal insulin resistance and it curbs your appetite, your skin glows. It's, it acts like a probiotic. Like there's so many healing factors to both of those and we need those minerals, potassium and magnesium. I'm going to do a whole nother live probably in about a week just on be lean. So you guys understand the benefits and I've done them before. So if you hashtag in the search bar, you'll probably see a video come up. All right, you guys, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. Make sure you share this. This right here will help you. The next video, the thing is I'm slammed right now because it's Christmas and I have a boutique, so I can't promise you a certain time, but when you come on and you see it, it'll, it'll be on here for you to look. I'm trying to make sure I do between 11 and 12, but if I don't make that time, I'm gonna pop in whenever I can so you guys get these holiday tips. The next few days are gonna be crazy, you know how that goes. So um, I'm gonna give at least six more tips. I'm gonna discuss alcohol, I'm gonna discuss the next day, and if you do overeat, like we're gonna go over some things, all right? So this is video part one, hashtag holiday keto tips, because it'll pop up on my page. If you're on my page and go and enter that in the search bar, all these videos will, will pop up for you. All right, if you're not part of Keto Soul Sisters, get your booty in there. We're all about healing and giving support, and we are an amazing tribe of women that support each other on this journey to a transformation. Because transformation, that's what I want. Transform. Love you guys. Have a good day. You hear Marty? Marty says hi.